Made in Heaven 2 has yeah. been a comeback of sorts, is that the right thing to say? What people think is that it's like a comeback. Yeah. Um, and it's sort of a new avatar. Right. Um, so yes, we can call it a comeback. Tell me the reactions. What has it been like since it's out? And you know, this is something everybody's watched. So the reactions have just been really positive. Mm. Um, and it's deeply rewarding as an actor when yeah. you know that you've been able to move so many people mm. from completely different backgrounds in life as well. You are big on self-love. Yeah. What do you do? How do you stay positive? I literally went for a yoga class two days after my dad passed away. Like, okay. it was something that I was like, I, I knew from practice that if I do this, I will feel better. I may not feel better yeah. for too long, mm -hmm. but it will help. Since everybody has a, a place to show their talent and if they're actors and they want to do, ultimately it'll be the talent that will last. I'd like to think that, but I'm very afraid with AI. Yeah. I'm very afraid. I mean, AI is writing music now. Yeah, AI is anchoring news, that's true. Yeah. I'm very afraid. Yeah. Do you think, are you of the opinion that, you know, once good work goes out, like Made in Heaven did, good work will come your way? I'm glad you asked that question. <laughs> I've just signed two shows. Congratulations. Literally since it came out. Congratulations. Thank you. I've wow, like, since it came out, Since it came out. Shows. Yeah, I signed one documentary and one, uh, another fiction show. Hi, I'm Sarah Jane and you are watching this interview on Bollywood Hangama. Sarah, welcome to Bollywood Hangama. Good to see you in bright yellow outfit. <laughs> thank you. And you and your mixed... I love whatever the situation thank, is. It's thank red, you. purple, good combination. Can we say that this um, Made in Heaven 2 has yeah. been a comeback of sorts? Is that the right thing to say? Yes and no. I say that because I think that's, this often happens with actors is that you film for something and it takes the time that it takes for it to be released. Right. Um, and in the meanwhile, people assume that you're not working right. or that you know nothing's happening. But in a way, it also works for you right. because what people think is that it's like a comeback yeah. um, and it's sort of a new avatar. Right. Um, so yes, we can call it a comeback. Okay. <laughs> I mean, like it's a great project to call a comeback. Yeah, project absolutely. Well, so, yeah. And it's something everybody's watched it, praised it. This character of yours, um, anything similar to what you are? I think the independent working girl, that bit. That bit. Um, but but you wouldn't marry yourself. No, I would. Well, I do have deep amount, a, a large amounts of self love, but right. I would not marry myself. I have to say, I am I am a little old fashioned like that, and okay. I would definitely not say yes to a boy if he proposed to me drunk. Right, that is yes, a, just not happening. Yeah, yeah, just not yeah. happening. <laughs> so, so a few similarities. Just I guess. a few. You um, know, so um, you know when when Zoya when the team told you about this girl. What is the first thing they told you and what, 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 was, what were your concerns? What was on your mind? I had zero concerns. Okay. Um, actually, what happened was Nandini Shrikant, who's yes, the casting, casting director, director, called and said, hey, there's a part in Made in Heaven. And literally before she could complete her sentence, I was like, yes. yes. She's like, don't you want to know what part it is? I said, no, yes, just yes, I'll do it. And then it progressed from there. She said, okay, Zoya's directing the episode. Then I got even more wow, excited. Wow, exciting. Then she said, come in and meet Zoya. Then I got even more excited and nervous. <laughs> And then I sat down with Zoya, she's like, right, you're getting married. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> to who? She's like, to yourself. I was like, yeah. what? And it was so, it took me a while to come down from the emotion of everything, mm. of the excitement. Right. And then start to process that it was this amazing story. And then that it was a part of Made in Heaven, mm. that obviously knowing the show and having watched it, that everything would be mm. intricately wound such mm. that the finale episode yeah. would, would sort of wrap everything up. Yeah. So it just, I think it slowly, slowly dawned on me the the, the, the magnitude of this offer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I read somewhere you told your friends that your friends were glad that you're not playing an Abla Nari. Yeah. It's actually, so yes, so actually what happened, this was, this is my running joke with my coach okay. and, and healer who's now my best friend also. Okay. Uh, she had actually just started her healing and coaching journey when we became friends uh. and I was a bit of a guinea pig for her. Okay. So, and I used to have, I, I, I still tend to have a little bit of anxiety but I had a lot more yeah. uh, a few years ago. Okay. So when we used to talk, sometimes we'd use humor to kind of break from like a really bad, anxious bout and she'd be like, you're being an Abla Nari right now, stop it. So this was our running joke, <laughs> Okay, okay, right? that's where it comes from. And that's where it comes from. Right. So, and I thought to myself when I did this scene, if hmm. I got left on the altar, hmm. I'm not sure I would handle it this yeah, like as yeah. well as Julie did, <laughs> right. right? Like I'm not so sure. Yeah. But when my guy friends watched it, uh -huh. that's when that 
term came out again. Yeah. They didn't say Ablan Ari, but they just said that I'm so glad that you didn't do a poor me. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm so mm-hmm. glad that you went out and did. And that's so wonderful to hear from, from your, the opposite right, sex right, as right, well. Right, right. Kind of like, True. it's so nice to see that perspective mm-hmm. that, you know, you didn't go crying to daddy and be like, oh, yeah. no, he left me. Right. Um, and that's why the whole, I tagged <laughs> her in it, by the yeah. way. In oh, nice. And said, look, I didn't do an Ablanari. <laughs> Tell me the reactions. What has it been like since it's out? And, you know, this is something everybody's watched. It's been... A lot of, lot and lot and lot of people who I know and don't know dropping mm. me messages on Instagram or on WhatsApp saying that the scene made them cry because mm. I feel like they feel like things were said that they resonated with. Yeah. Of course, for me as well, it was cathartic yeah. just to be able to say those words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And for them as well, it's a lot of women saying, you know, you, you, you gave me goosebumps. I felt like crying. Mm. A lot of guys saying, I'm so glad that you were so strong about the way you handled um, mm-hmm. or the way Julie handled the right. situation. So the reactions have just been really positive. Mm. Um, and it's deeply rewarding as an actor when yeah. you know that you've been able to move so many people mm. from completely different backgrounds in life as well. Yeah. It's not like it's appealed just to one kind of person. Mm. Um, it's appealed to single Everything. friends, married women, yeah. um, married men, mm. single friends who are mm. guys, just mm. everybody, mm. everybody. This also talk, you know, this, it's such a strong statement that she makes there. It also speaks about the times we live in. You know, yes. maybe earlier back in the days, we'd be like, no, you have to marry a guy. Yeah. There's no two ways about yeah. it. And today, here you are, like, you know, saying, I'm just happy by myself. Yeah. You think this is completely relevant and that's why it resonates? 100%. Yeah. There is never been more of an emphasis on putting oneself first mm-hmm. as there is today. It's always been my thing mm. in life always is that if I'm not happy and mm. my cup is not full, mm. I'm not going to be able to really help or be there for anybody else, right. even in a marriage. Yeah. And that works both ways, right? Correct. Like if the other person isn't happy, then they're always going to resent you in some Absolutely. way. And then that just becomes... And also, I think, just to commend society as a whole, that mm. these cliches are breaking down. Mm. Even parents are becoming slightly more understanding and acceptable of the fact that, okay, my daughter is 35, 40 years old. But you know what? She's amazing. She's successful. And she hasn't really found the right person to Mm. um, accompany her and compliment her on this journey. Also, the fact that your partner is no longer meant to complete you. They're meant to complement you. Absolutely. That shift of perspective. Mm So, 100% it speaks to everything that I believe in and Mm. have believed in for a very long time. And now, this generation is also sort of... um, Really pushing that agenda forward. That's really great. Right, yeah. right. You know, uh, you are big on self-love. Yeah. How do you manage? You know, work can be up and down. Personally, one can be up and down. How? What do you do? How do you stay positive? What is your scene of self-love? I have long baths. Very <laughs> long baths. Okay, that is one. Conservatively, from <laughs> right. a bucket. I'm serious. Nice, okay. Um, I, I was just telling my makeup artist this this morning. I'm the queen of self-care. Like the yeah. queen yeah. of self-care. Right. Um, it is single-handedly the thing that has taken me through very difficult times. Okay. Um, I remember, not to get very morbid, but I literally went for a yoga class two days after my dad passed away. Like okay. it was something that I was like, I, I knew from practice that if I do this, I will feel better. I may not feel better yeah. for too long, mm-hmm. but it will help. Right. Um, similarly with anything that goes wrong and you know with an actor's career or a, a celebrity's career can be so difficult because yeah. of the complete sheer unpredictability of life right, right? like yeah. for you you started this interview saying oh it's been a comeback but I'm mm. like no actually I've just <laughs> been waiting yeah. I've just been sitting waiting okay. trying not to get stressed that this show is not coming out right. and then it comes out and it's this big thing so you've gone mm. from when is it going to happen to oh my god oh my it's a really god. big success right. and nothing in between Yeah. so it's like this Emotionally, right. um, it's a roller coaster. Yeah. Things I do that I swear by: yoga, meditation, workouts, um, eating well, eating on time, mm. um, sleep, health. Mm. So important. Mm. Um, and just having fun, really. Yeah. I, 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 I am guilty of taking myself too seriously. You are? I uh, am. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I did take myself and I still do sometimes. I have to call myself out because I always felt like if I didn't look or feel like I was working hard, mm-hmm. that didn't mean I deserved a good time. Right. Fair so enough. if, and that's not true. That's absolutely true. So wrong both right to, to have yeah. fun and have a good time. Absolutely. And then you do also work. Mm-hmm. But just the whole idea of not being too hard on yourself. I think women are particularly good at this. Yeah. 
just like you know mm. walking around being like oh my god i'm fat and thin i'm ugly <laughs> i'm not working hard enough i'm not a good daughter i'm not uh-huh. with no with not trying to be sexist but guys don't do too much of this it's a little more it is you know it's just less <laughs> so yes yoga meditation workouts eating right. well mm. eating everything mm. in moderation mm. i don't I'm, and i don't diet right. um, taking holidays as often as i can without feeling guilty okay um and yeah those things really help right also you know say at a time like this when there are so many ott shows coming everyone's yeah. working some great content out there friends colleagues you have you you've been around for long you know everybody in the industry suppose a maid in event comes and then two years you're not doing anything yeah what plays on your mind are you someone who like oh my god i need to work? no i keep busy i do With, lots of it right you keep busy apart from yoga and meditation and gym yeah, 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 okay. hobby wise what would you i'm do? just like i'm constantly i have i'm a bundle of energy so i'm wow. also a musician <laughs> I, i also teach yoga and meditation because i got certified wow. um i also got well certified uh, thank you yeah. i also got certified to be a coach during the pandemic okay. um by the international coaching federation mm-hmm. so i just spend time creating content um advocating for mental health i do nice. free online yoga classes and meditation meditation classes i right. create music mm-hmm. um cuz i'm i i i'm i'm pretty i'm i'm pretty good I'm, I'm you pretty are good. I'm so good. i'm going to i'm going to take you back and then yeah. we'll come to what work what work comes ahead yeah so you know you are someone and i think we are someone we have seen the generation before social media yeah. you have seen the fame before social media yeah. exploded yeah when i if i take you to say a get gorgeous time yeah What was that fame like? Do you want to explain? These are youngsters watching <laughs> who don't know what that and and you were very popular. What was it like? It was like I don't say this to sound disrespectful, but today everyone's a celebrity. Yeah. So when you, you have Instagram, you're famous. Yes, that was true celebrityhood. Yeah. Because it was just what was on TV yeah. or what was in papers or what was in magazines, and right. that was it. That was it. If you didn't, if you weren't on TV or in a magazine and paper, you weren't famous, Not famous right? right? And this was repeatedly being on TV and in mm. magazines and in newspapers because yeah. I was a VJ for five years, then yeah. I became a Miss India, then Miss I was India. an actor. Yeah. Mm. So it was just this lovely climb of yeah. celebrityhood right. um, before everybody became famous. <laughs> and there are pros and cons to that. I love that social media gives you the ability to express yourself and mm. be informed about what's going on in uh, the world and uh-huh. be able to share a, your opinion and. and and get feedback from other people mm. so there's a wonderful sense of not being alone mm. however there's something very tricky that happens when cuz with celebrityhood can also come self obsession right and that i find very difficult with young people these days because mm. they think it's a very self consumed thing yeah um because you think you're famous um and and to me that's the difference initially there were only a few self consumed people now mm-hmm. there are a lot of self consumed people <laughs> how does one <laughs> not be self consumed you ha- someone's giving you great clothes and oh this is simple this is yeah. simple i have the best answer for this i say this to everybody all the time being a celebrity is what i do it's not who i am right you're a di- different person it's not who i am it's a role you're playing when you're playing celebrity is what i do actor is what i do model is what i do it is not who i am who right. i am is sarah jane mm. I am the daughter of you know Yolanda and Eustace, and mm. I know I'm a sister to my 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 Elena, a sister to my sister. I was mm. going to say, and I'm just a human being. Uh-huh. The celebrityhood is what I do. What do you do? And if you manage to keep those two things separate, sim- similar with like influencers or YouTubers or whatever, right. if you keep those two things separate, right, you stay humble mm. and you stay grounded um, because you remember that it can always be taken away from you at any yeah, time, and then absolutely. all you have left is who you really are. Yeah. So. Again, it's tricky though. You, yeah. Because I feel like there's a lot of emphasis on carrying your celebrityhood wherever you go, especially with YouTubers and yeah, influencers. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That um, image, that yeah. But I take social media breaks all the time. Okay, which is which detox. would be how much? Just or a what? detox. Okay. Oh, it depends. Uh, I can go like for a, a month. For a month on yeah, without yeah. social media. I can go for a month. Wow, and you'll not check, you'll not see what others are doing. Sometimes. Okay. But I'll go a month without posting. Wow. I just, that's great. Yeah, I I I can't. I I it's hard it's just mm. it's hard it's mm. actually hard like it each post hard, yeah. requires whatever it requires Planning. um and my social media account is really a glimpse into my life as well right um so if i'm not posting for a month that means that my life is occupying me right. you know Which is a good um, thing. and the second i start work again like today there'll be mm. posts and stuff mm. like that and mm. i'm okay with that balance right 
after your genuine fame and everything came this whole social media some people are see it in a how do you see it some people see it in a some people are bitter about it that everybody's got it some people back in the days are not happy about uh, it's genuinely for good reasons that everybody gets it so easily you don't value it you don't know the responsibility behind it yes. what is your take i agree with both okay uh, both in the sense that i agree with both the points. i'm for and uh, for and for against, and against. Okay. i'm against because of the reasons that you just said because you right. don't really value it then right. and also i feel for older generation actors right. uh, celebrities etc hmm. because like i said it's hard and especially if you've not made the effort it's very easy to say oh you need to adapt with the times mm. right yeah, like for example that, when yeah. ai came about mm. oh it's an inevitability mm. sure but there are that many people that are going to go out of work correct what about them what about like you can't just be like oh yeah it's just something you have to deal with especially mm. if they're older yeah, right yeah. again perhaps because of how i'm built i've always adapted mm. i've always gone from one step to another step i've stayed in tune with what's working so mm. for example i you know when podcast came about yeah. i i have my own podcast right. i enjoy that but not everybody enjoys it not everybody can keep that pace right. so in that sense yes i do feel mm. i am slightly against that okay. that everybody can do it right um and that it's not easy for people who just can't keep up right, right? true um i am for it because it then also makes the playing field equal fair yeah that's why i'm for right. it because i think everybody deserved an opportunity right. everybody if you have the talent you can show it at exactly yeah, yeah. and then if you get recognized well and good i mm. and again it's the, the 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 against argument would be that sometimes not sometimes often in today's day and age even with castings you mm. will get cast if you have a million followers yeah, yeah absolutely it doesn't matter if you can act or not absolutely right? yeah. we've seen that's in so I many films that i find unfair right that's a bit unfair yeah who do you think will last in this game people who adapt people who adapt yeah I think it is a time of adapting and collaborating. Right. If you don't collaborate, mm. um, again, celebrityhood was quite a, a singular. Right. What do movement. you mean when you say collaborate? I mean work with other people okay, well, to create yeah, more to create, content. Right. To like so, for example, for me, a no-brainer way for an a slightly older generation person to be more relevant now mm. is to quickly do something with a new brand yeah, or with yeah. a, a young, young influencer. influencer. It's the easiest it's thing, the right? Easiest thing. Yeah. It's a no-brainer for mm-hmm. me. So that's what I mean by. right that's an easy way to adapt yeah and it, again it's to me that's the beauty of collaboration is that for a new actor to be able to spend time with an older actor mm. is a rewarding experience right and then for the older actor to be able to have newer content right. it works both ways it that's works the both beauty ways. of collaboration right and adaptation of course just you know trying to stay up to date with what's happening right and you believe like you know ultimately like since since everybody has a uh, a place to show their talent and the actors and they want to do ultimately it'll be the talent that will last i'd like to think that but i'm very afraid with ai yeah. i'm very afraid i mean ai is writing music now yeah ai is anchoring news that's true yeah. i'm very afraid yeah. i do um i was having a conversation with someone i'm very close to who owns a tech company and he was saying that you know it's inevitable and it may yes. not go back right because interesting fact my uh, kids these days are mm. more likely to enjoy 3d animation than 2d and, yeah. and it kids <laughs> right. they don't know the difference right. but if you show them let's say an animated movie from the 1980s like a 2d anime uh-huh. they are most likely not going to enjoy it but right. if you show them something like a shrek uh-huh. they most likely will enjoy it right so they are being they are literally born mm-hmm. evolved right. you know they're using ipads da 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 so i'm not so sure right. uh, i'm not even what also scares me is that i can't tell the difference sometimes mm. as to what's been written by ai yeah and what's not like mm. an email for example mm. i can't tell yeah <laughs> right. so that's you know i don't know i don't right. know how they are they are already ai influencers are there on instagram hollywood is taking a good step ahead i love ahead. that they taking us yeah that you know they are, they know what is going to happen they yeah. they are st- they are on a strike as we sit here and yeah. talk yeah yeah Uh, and yeah. they've been on a strike for a while exactly and we are the country that makes the tech we have the yeah. tech geniuses yeah. we are still do you think not interested because it's not affected us yes yeah. why would we care yeah. why does anybody care isn't that the general nature of us as a culture so, society, like we right. don't really care unless it's at our doorstep yeah If we don't really care unless it's in our house not even at the doorstep <laughs> right. if it's at the doorstep we're still like it's fine it's not right. inside the house right. when it's inside the house then we're like and then it's too late and right. then it's too late then it's too late but again 
we're such a huge population. Yeah. You know, before it really takes hold of hmm. you and I are still the minority when yeah. it comes to the way we think, the hmm. culture, the stuff we're exposed to, the true, things true, we true. wear, true. the masses. Hmm. It'll take a long time right. before it starts to affect. Right. Um, but it is a trickle down effect. So the responsibility does lie with hmm. the people who do hmm. influence the masses. Right. But again, I cannot imagine some of our bigger stars taking it lightly if the producers and directors say, oh, we're replacing yeah. you with AI. with AI. I cannot imagine that going down well, unless imagine. there is a certain kind of royalty deal that's struck. Right. So that's the only way, right? If right. You, uh, you, the only way for you to ensure that you're making money off uh, of your AI right. is through royalties. How right. else? Right. You know, I'm glad I'm talking to someone who knows this topic because, you know, there aren't that many people who know about this. Uh, so it's funny what's happening in Hollywood. They are, they're, they're on a strike and they're saying a fair thing that if you use my name, my face or any avatar in any form, yeah. One, pay me compensation. Yeah. Take my permission. Yeah, it's, you know these are these are just such ba basic and also things. and also basic things and also you, you know you you can't dehumanize me and take my avatar. My life's work. La life's work, right? The reason you are using my face is because I have worked twenty years, oh. 30, 40 years right. for my face to be relevant. Otherwise, who's going to care? Right? Yeah. What a situation to be in. Oh my god. I can't like, honestly, as a generation, the stuff we've been yeah, through. That take me, the human being, and not a computer generated thing. And I can't even like, I'm having these conversations and somewhere at the back of my head is this Black Mirror episode is going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. like, what? what? We just got over COVID. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, we just gone back to some sort of normalcy and right. now this. One actor made a very good point that imagine if your, if your avatar is in a bigoted movie which you don't agree with. In a, and you know, it's used again and again to say things. And if you go out in the streets, people will hate on you. Yeah, it's your face. You, the yeah, human being, yeah. not the avatar because they yeah. can't do that, right? Yeah. So yeah. it is a huge, huge, it is, it is. huge, it is. huge problem. Anyway, thank you for discussing that with me. Um, coming back to your work, do you think, are you of the opinion that, you know, once good work goes out, like Made in Heaven did, good work will come your way? I'm glad you asked that question. I've just signed two shows. Congratulations. Literally since it came out. Congratulations. Thank you. I've wow, like, since it came out. Since it came out. Shows. Yeah, I signed one documentary and one uh, another fiction show. Wow. As the lead. Well done. Yeah, right. That, that just, that's exactly proves my question right. I'm so grateful. Um, again, I don't think I've had time to really... Because I start filming soon, so oh um, I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled and I have two more sh films coming out, web releases. One is Freelancer. Um, yeah. That's a series. That's I have two series. more films coming out after okay, that. Okay, so there's enough work. There's enough happening and enough now in the pipelines as mm. well. So yes, the answer is yes. Okay. If you do have um, uh, something that comes out that is good and received well, it looks like it guarantees more work. So. Right. So, out of all these that you've worked on, what can you talk about and tell us what is the next release? What, where will we see you next? I can talk about Freelancer. Okay, please tell me when is it out uh, and what is it? Like, so, Freelancer is like a full-on gritty action. Uh, it's amazing. Um, so, Neeraj Pandey directed. Okay, nice. Um, and it's this amazing... Um, it's, it's, it, the only word that comes to mind is gritty and action because it's just action-packed throughout. And I love action. You, I was going to ask, is it I your love, genre? I yeah. love. I've been wanting to play a part. Okay. And the thing is, I don't actually do any action in this, but I was just happy to play a, I play a CIA agent. Okay. I was just happy to play a CIA agent. Wow, I'm like, that is very cool. I'm like, by default, I'll kind of be in the action genre. <laughs> so, I'm happy. Um, and I do want to do more of that. I okay. really do. Um, I have trained in martial arts as well, so I really want to be able to put well that to done. use. But yeah, so I play, and, and, I, and in one of the films I play a cop, okay. the one that's coming out, where again there's no action because I'm the, okay. the, the constable, Okay. but um, I'm wearing cop uniform, nice. so I'm not complaining. Nice. Yeah. Uh, where and when is Freelancer out? Where would you know? Tomorrow. On? The 1st of okay. September. So it's okay. out on the 1st of September mm. and um, I don't know the release dates for the other two okay. films yet. Hi, I'm Sarah Jane and you are watching this interview on Bollywood Hangama.